I have created for you five classic of my absolute favorite films. I've created them as recipes to put into your Fujifilm camera so you can um, enjoy these classic films every day on your camera. And you know, I used to hate the PASM dial on my Fujifilm camera, but now I love it because I can save all of my five different recipes onto my camera, C1 to C5, and each one's got a different um, classic, I, you know, amazing film which um, I can use to take photos, as well as all the ones that come with the Fujifilm cameras. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Fujifilm have created the possibility within your camera, especially if you've bought one over the last few years, um, to actually create your own film simulations in your camera. You can change everything from the white balance through to the clarity, the saturation, um, or the highlight and the shadows. Um, you can change your, um, obviously base it on another film simulation. So I use classic Chrome a lot to create my film simulations. And then I kind of use that as the base and then change everything from there. Um, and your color Chrome effects, everything can be manipulated um, right down to the finest detail to get the, the film that you want. And I've spent a long time doing this for five different films, which I'm gonna give you today. Um, I gave these to my Patreon followers a while back. And uh, so if you wanna come and join my Patreon, do click below and you can come and support my channel if you want to do that. Um, but before we get into it, just to say, do visit photographymadesimple.uk and there you can just really get tons of free resources to make you a better photographer. So do make the most of that um, after you've watched this video. So let's get into it and give you my five different um, films um, for your camera. Now, if you've got an older camera, and I get this a lot, questions a lot from this, if you've got an early camera like an X-T1 and you don't have that menu option to change everything um, like you can say on, on the latest ones, don't worry, follow it as far as you can because um, on, the, on the cameras, gradually Fujifilm kept kind of adding bits and bits more that you could change and make it more customizable. So there'll be things that you can change. Um, as long as you can change the white balance, then you're kind of like 90% on the way anyway. So follow as much as you can, depending on what camera you've got, and hopefully you'll get most of the way, if not all of the way. But let's get into it. The first one I'm gonna give you, in fact, the first two, I've recently made two separate videos about these. So if you go back into my videos, the first two films I've recently made um, videos about, but I've, I've included them in my five um, to give you a nice kind of round number, well, a five. <laughs> um, so the first one is Kodak Tri-X 400. Now, this is a beautiful film, a really classic black and white film, lovely colors. Um, it's got super fine grain, beautiful um, contrast. Just, the whole thing is a gorgeous film and you can still buy it today. If you go, if you shoot film, you can still buy this film. And uh, I really wanted it on my camera. So I spent ages recreating it um, for, um, for you now to have. So yeah, um, that's there. And I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'll put all five films all five um, recipes on the screen for you to copy. Um, you can just pause the video and, and copy them down. Um, the next one I've got is the Kodachrome. Now Kodachrome is no longer with us, sadly, but was an absolutely beautiful film. Um, perfect for really vivid natural colors. Um, great for uh, nature and for travel. Just a beautiful film. Um, and you know, because it's no longer with us, all the more reason to create it as a digital simulation so um, that one's going to be there for you as well then we got kodak gold i love kodak gold i grew up shooting a lot of kodak gold um it was quite cheap um but it had these really high color saturation um it had really great color accuracy but really vibrant colors and you just knew knew when you looked at a, a kind of a picture that it was shot with kodak gold um so that's going to be there for you as well um and you can see by the pictures that i'm showing you you know i love this great great colors on these films then we've got our absolute classic, which is the Portra. And Portra, as you can see now, has just got beautiful, vibrant, true to life colors. They're just, yeah, it's a great film. Um, it's great for everything, um, but really great for, you know, just travel photography, but for portraits as well, just beautiful. Um, and then the last film I've got for you is one of my all time favorite films, which was Kodak Ektar. Now Kodak Ektar, if you're in the sunshine, it just had the most amazing, beautiful 
colours, true to life colours, really vibrant blues, um, quite intense greens. Um, it was perfect for outdoor and travel photography. Uh, really great if you're on holiday and you wanted to have a film which was good for holiday in a bright sunny kind of situation. It was a brilliant film for that. Um, now, these films are all ready for you. So if you kind of um, pause the one you want, or maybe pause them all, I'm going to kind of put some, let some music play and put these films on there for you now so that you can, um, you can grab these for yourself. And I just hope you really enjoy using them um, and make, make the most of, um, of them on your camera. As I say, if you've got an older camera, do as much as you can. But anyone with a kind of a camera from the last few years will be able to manipulate and change these settings um, to, to, to match what you want. And if you've got a camera with a PASM dial, even better, you can save them um, on your memory there. So yeah, make the most of these. Hope they're fun for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.